Before I start my series on being frugal or thrifty or however you want to put it, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about why you do that and how to be happy doing it. So the first reason is to reduce stress because if you can't pay your bills, you're late with your bills, got people hounding you, you can't feed your kids, stuff like that, then that's major stress inducing. So that's one of the reasons to start being thrifty and frugal. Let's see, what was my, ah, get down. Um, what was my other one? Oh, you actually, I mean, people say healthy food's more expensive, but is it really? Get down. No. He's clawing me all up. Look at my arm. Stop. Stop. He needs his, here, you want to get up? Get up over here. No, don't jump on me. My legs are totally bruised up from him <laughs> jumping on my legs because I take blood thinners so and my legs get all bruised. But anyway, the second reason is you actually, if you frugal, you're healthier because you're not eating out and eating junk food and buying chips and cookies and all those things because you're trying to save money. But I mean, some healthy foods may be a little more expensive, but if you weigh it against fast food, it's definitely cheaper plus healthier for you. And the other thing I want to talk a little bit about is ways to be happy with less. And one of them is, oh, you're so crooked. I don't know how to make you straight. Oh, I could lean, I could shift and then I'd be straight. Um, is resourcefulness. There's different, you, I mean, you can go to thrift stores, garage sales, one of the things I have found, there's an app called Freebie Alerts. And what it does, at least in my area, and I don't know if they have it all over the country or not, I hope they do, is it looks at all the ones like Facebook Marketplace, um, na the neighborhood ones like next door. It looks at all those kind of places for the word free and it sends you alerts. And then you can jump on free stuff like that couch right there was free, for instance. That light right there was free. Although I did get that from a friend, but you know, and, and with friends, I mean, if they know, like if my friends knew I was looking to refurbish my house because I had gotten rid of everything. They are like, well, we've got this that we don't use. We've got that that we don't use, you know, so. Don't be, a, don't be afraid to take charity because it's just sitting somewhere gathering dust and they're not using it. Why shouldn't you get some use out of it? So that's the first thing is being resourceful. And you could, I used to do this kind of stuff. You know, I don't need more because I don't have kids and all that, but I used to, I mean, my older son, I don't think he had a store-bought cookie till he was in school. So I always baked my own cookies I even made my own bread back in the day, and I didn't have a bread maker. I did it. I made my own bread. <laughs> and um, I, I canned fruit and stuff, like jams and things. Um, made pickles one year. Uh, so I had a garden. I always had a garden. So there's lots of things you can do to save money that's being resourceful. I mean, some of those, if you're working, you don't have time for all that stuff, but if you're not working, you can maybe do some of those things. I don't, I don't do it anymore because it's just me. I'm not gonna make homemade jam and bread and stuff for just me. Although I might try making some homemade bread because gluten-free bread is ridiculously expensive. It's like $8 a loaf. Uh, let's see, um, contentment and being contented with what you have. And it tied to that, to me, another one is being thankful for what you have. I have a whole closet full of clothes, more than I could possibly ever wear, you know, I don't need them all, but I'm very happy I have them, very thankful I have them, and I may start pruning some of them out, and 
I can either sell them and make some money or give them away and bless somebody else. But, um, so that's one of, one of the two ways, or one of the four ways to be um, basically happy in your state of life. Um, and the third one is putting needs over wants. I mean, I may want some new clothes, but do I need some new clothes? No. Do I need to pay my taxes on my house? <laughs> do I need to pay my health insurance? Yes, I need to do those things. <laughs> I just, do I need to pay my car insurance? I just did that and it was like, a, oh. so if I didn't buy clothes, I'd have more money to pay that car insurance. <laughs> Um, and then the fourth one is companionship. Don't, don't, just because you don't have a lot of money doesn't mean you have to sit in your house alone and be bored and lonely. You can do things with friends. Like, for example, I mean, I'm not saying don't ever go to the movies, but a lot of the movies within a month are in the, on the streaming services. And if you have a streaming service, have a movie night with your friends and have them come over and watch 80 for Brady, for instance. You know, if you've got a bunch of old ladies like me, have your old lady friends come over and watch 80 for Brady's and everybody bring a snack. And instead of paying, I don't know, even with the senior discount, I think tickets are seven, eight dollars. And if there's say five of you, watching this movie, even if you had to rent the movie for five bucks, you're still saving quite a bit of money. So there's things you can do to still be happy even though you're being frugal. And let's see, I'm not gonna really go into a lot of frugal tips this video, because this video is already almost 10 minutes long. I'm gonna try and keep my frugal videos from being the 30 minute ones that I usually do. But the first thing I'm gonna say, this is my first and biggest tip, okay. is if you have credit cards, and I have a credit card, I'm not saying don't have a credit card, but if you have several credit cards, take the Dave Ramsey approach and do what he calls the, what is this, what is this right here? Hmm? Is that a boy? Um, he calls it the snow, credit snowball. And what you say you have a credit card that's got $400 on it, and you've got one that has 1,000 on it, and one that has 5,000 on it. Well, if you get any extra money at all, put it on that one that only has 400 on it. Knock that one out as quick as you can with any little extra money you get. And then once that one's knocked out, you can take the money you were paying to pay that one off and put it on the thousand dollar one and then any extra money you get. So now you've doubled, sort of doubled it. You know, you're paying the, the payment you would have paid plus the payment you would have paid on the $400 one plus any extra little money that turns up. And then once that one's knocked out, then you do the same with the $5,000 one. So it, it it's a snowball effect and it gets, gets, it gets the ball rolling. And I have a credit card, but years and years ago when I was a single parent making six fifty an hour in California, I ran up $10,000 in credit card debt. And that was really hard to pay off making six fifty an hour. But being, I've learned these frugal lessons long ago. And I got that paid off the month before my son turned 18 and his child support went quick. So it was a blessing that I got paid off when I did. And I was afraid of credit cards for many years. I did not have a credit card for a lot of years. And then maybe 10 years or so, or so ago, I got one credit card. It's like a Visa MasterCard type, you know, just a all-inclusive type credit card. Mine happens to be a Visa, but it doesn't matter and it's tied to my checking account and it's paid off every month. I use it to get the points because I've gone on a cruise with the, you know, the cash back that you get. I've gone on a cruise with that cash back. I bought my iPad with the cash back. So you can accumulate that cash back and it's just a little surprise for yourself later. 
you know, get yourself a little present later. Or if you got some bill that comes up and you don't know what to do, you can use that cash back. But I never, ever pay interest because I never, ever let it go past that first bill that you get. Well, you, if you pay it all off, you don't pay any interest. And if I have to take out a savings to do that, I will, but I'm not going like I had to this month because I've been having a lot of extra expenses lately with you know all the work I've done on the house. Instead of letting my credit card, because I'm not paying 20% interest or whatever god awful interest of credit cards are right now. I don't, I don't do credit cards anymore as far as paying the interest on them. So I don't even know what the interest is on mine because I never, never pay it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's my first tip, and we'll do more frugal, frugal Fridays. But I just wanted to get the ball rolling with this one about why why we want to do it and how to remain happy while we're doing it and your step one is work on getting rid of those credit cards and if you can't trust yourself to not use them and you still want to have it freeze it in a block of ice in the freezer by the time you thaw that out you might have changed your mind and not and not want to want to buy whatever it was anymore but if you carry it with you I carry mine with me because I have mine under control, but if you don't have yours under control, don't carry it with you. Take your debit card with you. And then if it's something that you want, you have to have the money in the bank for it with the debit card. So that may be the way to go for a while if you're having trouble with credit is just use your debit card and then, you know, whatever's in the bag's all you can spend. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for today. That's our first Frugal Friday, just our little little intro. And next Friday, we'll start with some tips. I had a couple little tips in there, the freebie alert app and the credit card snowball thing. But mostly I just wanted to talk about why to do it and how to be happy while you're doing it. All right, love y'all. Hope you enjoy this series. Bye-bye.